Hi everyone. Let's talk about tips to avoid yellowing of leaves or how to avoid a root rot. You guys know these issues happen due to overwatering, less watering, low humidity issues or congested roots in media due to media breakdown. When we always thrive for high humidity to aid the growth of hoya or the blooming of a hoya sometimes we love them too much and therefore thinking we are helping them we overwater or over fertilize here are seven tips to follow so your hoyas are always safe number 1 always try a bottom watering method top watering is fine if your specimen has a vigorous growth habit but to avoid a sudden unknown root rot it is better to have a built-in reservoir where you can pour the fertilizer or the water so the roots may absorb it on its own whenever it needs if you do not have a built-in reservoir you can use a cover pot acting as a reservoir so you will be adding the same fertilizer or the water into that cover pot and from the bottom the nutrition is absorbed by the roots the second tip is to use a seaweed or a kelp formula every week to help your plant resist the heat and be cool and comfortable until the temperature cools down there are various types of kelp or seaweed fertilizers that you can purchase and you can look at the reviews and you can look at other youtube videos as to whichever is the popular and you may put an order for one of them if you do not own one already the third tip is to up your trace elements by using a calcium or a magnesium supplement mixed in to your normal fertilizer you can spray these separately too my regular magnesium supplement is the commonly used epsom salt where i add this every 2 weeks into my fertilizer and spray it on my hoyas and orchids the fourth tip is during low humidity days you can spray or spray some water on the surface of your media and not only will it cool the atmosphere around your plants but will combat the dryness of the top media in case you have not added any pebbles to combat that the fifth tip i would give you is do not repot or restart your hoyas during hot weather or if the hoya is sick when you are a novice or new to hoyas and not an advanced or an experienced hoya or an orchid grower i say this because a repot is a new beginning or a restart for a plant which has a really good root system even because it will go into a new media or a total different media and will have to get used to that surrounding in spite of the hot weather conditions around it you guys know hoyas and orchids as epiphytes are extremely finicky not all orchids or not all hoyas are easy to grow so therefore repot or restart your hoya especially if there is some ailment in it only when the 
temperature cools down and everything aligns together for that report or the restart to work. The sixth tip is do not use harsh chemicals on your leaves frequently to treat pests or fungal infections but a plant-based or a homemade fertilizer, a pesticide or a fungicide. Most of us at the very beginning have been used to using a lot of fertilizer but I can now see that a lot of YouTubers and other growers have also cut down the usage of fertilizer due to the plants getting used to fertilizer and not growing on their own not to mention being expensive so i advise you to be very 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 responsible in your usage of fertilizer the number seventh and the last tip that i will give you is don't go above the advised dose of fertilizer if you mix half of what is advised on the bottle it is the best for epiphytes like hoyas and make sure you properly mix in the fertilizer with the water before spraying for optimum and equal absorption from all structures of the hoya. Flushing the media and cleaning your leaves can always renew your hoya which I have advised in numerous videos you can go and see in my playlist of fertilizer and videos of care tips hence the reason I did not incorporate none of those points into this video when you habitually incorporate these methods you have less to worry and you will be owning a specimen level Hoya pot in the long run to show off your skills or to chop it up and resell or share thank you guys for watching I hope these tips and tricks will help you in your Hoya game. I wish you all the best. Until my next video. Bye bye.